Hi everyone, welcome back. So I uh, just finished making this uh, workbox thing. I might still improve it a little bit. Basically, it's a glass front in a, in a plastic box and holes for arms and stuff. And so, you know, just a place for cutting, grinding, sanding, etc., without getting dust everywhere. So then, you know, it's connected up to a vacuum cleaner with a HEPA filter. So just a uh, really, really nice way to be able to do stuff like this at home, because, you know, I'm not in a, a proper workshop, without getting dust everywhere, especially with things uh, with wood, it's maybe not quite as bad, but things like MDF, metal, things like that, I definitely don't want to have that kind of dust around. So uh, that's when this is really, really great to have. So I'll have a video about this separately, and I'll, I've also got some ideas for upgrades for this. Maybe some holes at the sides with some rubber flaps so that you know I can feed big pieces of wood into there for cutting. Um, and I've got a uh, work surface that actually slides into there and connect, and a vise connects to that work surface. Uh, so that'll be another video as well. But anyways, uh, first project with this was making these, uh, I wanted some long screwdriver bits and uh, you can buy them on eBay for about five pounds. But I mean, I, it's just, I didn't want to spend quite that much when I could just make them for basically free. And especially it's some, because it's something I'm not going to use very much, maybe once every three months or something. Uh, basically when I need to open up, you know, sometimes um, I've had to open up a, a vacuum cleaner or a, a light or something like that where they've they've made the, the screw really hard to reach, like inside a, a hole kind of thing. So uh, I've never had to use one of these, but I have, I have needed to use Philips uh, fairly often. So uh, not fairly often, uh, a, a few times in my life I've needed a long Philips. So uh, I wanted a free one. So I had a, a set of these that I already had. I mean, I did spend a pound to buy them, but I already had them. Uh, in my toolbox and so I just cut off the actual so you know these had handles on them so I just cut off the handles and made myself some long screwdriver bits so then um, the reason I cut off the handles is just I prefer I mean I, yeah I could have used them with the handles but this saves me space in my toolbox I've got you know I've got a fairly limited amount of space uh, that I'm working with here and I obviously prefer working with uh, <laughs> with a power drill so um yeah, so this is much nicer for me, and yeah, I'm really happy with this. So, um, by the way, this this obviously will only work with a, a, a screwdriver that has a chuck. The, the ones that only have a quick fit thing, um, like a little hex connection, this obviously won't work with them because you don't have a hex at the end of it. So uh, for that, you can just buy these. I'll put a link to, to the ones you can actually buy in the links down below. They're about five pounds or so on eBay. Um, but, uh, but I, you know, I was really happy with this for free. Uh, I really like this and uh, it was nice and easy to do, nice and easy to cut inside this glass box. And when you're using something like this, I would say do also use uh, eye protection. And potentially if you're working with any hazardous materials, obviously don't make your own kind of thing and then rely on that for hazardous materials. I'm not working with hazardous materials. I'm just working with, you know, cutting a few little things. Um, so I'm making sure that I'm being safe enough with this for my uses, but just keep in mind that this thing is, you know, building one of these yourself is not necessarily going to uh, be good for anything hazardous. Just uh, keep that in mind. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you found this useful. I have uh, links below to the stuff I talked about. And by the way, uh, quick mention of this uh, Challenge Extreme, super cheap little thing, uh, about 20 pounds or so for this and uh, a bunch of uh, bits to go at the end of it. It's uh, just surprisingly a really good tool. A lot of power tools at this price just kind of suck. This thing was actually really worth the money and I actually love how quiet it is. Even at high speeds, it's, so this is at minimum. Uh, that's minimum. But even at high speeds, it's not, it's not too bad. And uh, the, the, the box actually helps cut down the noise a little bit. Uh, and actually, you know, uh, quite a decent bit of cuts down the noise, but this thing is nice to use and doesn't vibrate a huge amount compared to some other tools, which just makes it much more comfortable to work with. So uh, anyways, uh, I'll have links to this below and uh, see you guys in the next video. Bye.